it's me, Raven. I wanted to do another quick video for everyone to just show some tips and um, thingies that I picked up about how to find icons and pictures while I'm in the middle of doing some live sketch noting. All right, all right, cool. So the first thing is that sometimes we do have brain farts. Like we have sketched a word a bunch of times or like we know what certain things look like, but just have a brain fart. So what to do in those cases? Well, ooh, I thought I'd draw on a phone. Let me see. Do I still have it in here? <gasps> Where did my phone picture go? Oh, here it is. There we go. You can use your phone. And I have one right here. You can Google up images. Um, and I do this a lot at church when things come up. So how do I do that? I use the search tools to help me get some really good ideas. So if I wanted to draw someone that was confused, I would look up confused. Can you see that right there? And then I would go over to search tools. You can do this on your phone if you've got Google. I'm just on the web browser. I'm not even in an app. And under search tools, so I scrolled over to the side and went to search tools. I will. Where did it go? This is fun being live. And it's not like I didn't just practice this real quick. Am I already? Okay. You go to images first because we're looking for images. And then go to search tools. See that? And under that, you can choose because you've got some images and that can help you out. But if you don't want to like try to start with something like a photo to help you do a sketch or a doodle, you can go to type under search tools, type and choose line art. And then that may give you things that are a little easier to work with while you're in the middle of a brain fart. At least it does for me. So you go to images, search tools, look at type, and then you choose line drawing and that can help you out as well. If it's still not, there's another thing you can do. You can, when you type in what you're looking for, you're like, oh, I don't know how to draw somebody that's confused. You can add the word doodle after whatever it is you're trying to find an image of. And once again, we're make sure we're in images. And then it will give you some that are a little bit more um, helpful for if you're sketch noting. Isn't that cool? I like this little confused brain cloud thingy over here. All right. And one more thing you can do is that say you're trying to draw a confused person. Remember, you can always add stick figure behind the word you're looking at. So I will erase doodle because I want to draw a confused person. Put stick figure behind it. And now I have some stick figure people to use. And this to help me, you don't have to copy any of these exactly as they are, but when you're in the middle of a brain fart, it sometimes is helpful to be like, okay, this is a good starting point for me. So that was just a few tips and I hope some of them help you out. If you're part of the search net, so, yeah. Be part of the Sermon Sketch Note community if you want to learn more about taking notes. We're on Facebook. You can find us. And we're on Instagram. I love looking through what other people have done. And if you tag at Sermon Sketch Notes community, you can get featured as well. So if you just want to be inspired, great. If you want to inspire others, great as well. And we're in the last couple of hours of my Kickstarter campaign. I've been working on a collection of my Sermon Sketch Notes. And even though Kickstarter is an all or nothing platform, um, anything you pledge in the next two hours will help me set a new goal of um, knowing what people are willing to contribute to help make this come about. And then within that budget, I can make it happen because y'all know me. I'm a promo code looking up discounts queen. So 
I hope those tips helped you. Um, and if you decide to take notes in church, or if you already have, and you happen to have one of those brain farts that you remember, hey, I can pull out my phone and it would help me out too. Cool? Cool. Well, I will see y'all later and hopefully report back to you in um, an hour or two and let you know how the Kickstarter campaign ended up. Cool? Cool. Bye. Bye.